Subban, Upi, and Hauser all have the flu. So um, uh, Hauser's was coming on as the day went on, uh, but he and Subban are roommates, so that wasn't shocking. Uh, Subban came down with it last night. Upi this morning when he showed up at the rink. Uh, and Hauser, as the game was going on, I think it was he was cramping. He was completely dehydrated there. So back warm, uh, drove in. You know, we couldn't get a flight in time by the time we knew on Upi. So uh, Beck had to drive in six, seven hours and, and uh, got here. I think Beck got here at about 7.05 um, and then slid on the bench. That's a tough spot for him to go into. Yeah, he struggled, right? So, but it, but it's inexcusable penalty uh, by Cedar Quist there. Uh, it's it's too bad. He had a spectacular night. He was, he was playing good hockey. He had his best game uh, in the American League, and um, you know we're a young team. He took a really immature uh, penalty, and it, and it cost his team a win. So you went to Belleville, uh, just wish goalies would go. No idea. I think everything's possible. Everything was on the table today. I mean, it was, it was, we didn't know if we'd be able to get back warm here in time. Uh, you know, hope that Housey wouldn't get too sick as the day went on. Um, and, uh, you know, so, I mean, we were exploring all possibilities today. We had e-bug options going. Um, so, you know, we'll just have to see how, how he's feeling and, and go from there. And this is not COVID. As far as you know, mentioned breakout game, just you know, his acclimation. How would he been building toward this? Because I mean, we can see from you know, yeah, he's, he's uh, you know, he's been he's he's a, he works really hard. He has a high standard for himself. Um, he's going to learn from this mistake he made as well, um, and he won't make that again. And uh, but you know, he's been winning puck battles. He's been playing around the blue paint. He's been doing the things uh, that he needs to do. With his skill set to be a successful player in the American Hockey League, and then try to grow from there. So we we like what he's doing. We like where he's going. Um, it's too bad that that the, the end dampened what, what was a great night for him. Goalie situation. How is this going to carry over to how you manage tomorrow? Yeah, you know it's hard to even know. Um, I mean, you know, you likely anticipate Beck Warm to start, and and we have a lot of belief in Beck. Um, he'll he'll give us a heck of an effort. He's been great in Cincinnati. That was a really really tough spot to be put into, and then we put it put it in a worse spot uh, with the penalty. So, um, you know, so I anticipate Beck will probably start, and and we'll see if Hauser's healthy enough. Uh, you know, the worry a little bit is you don't really want to put him on a bus with with the rest of the team right now either. So. Just have to uh, manage it. You know, we've been doing that for the last couple of years. We're used to it. Um, and it seemed like he had a mouth injury, and then he came out in the second with a cage on. What happened there? Uh, he got cut with a puck, um, uh, quite a few stitches. Uh, so it's just precautionary protection. Yeah. He is okay. Yeah. And I thought that um, I thought our young kids uh, were way better. You know, than our older forwards tonight. Um, that was probably, you know, I don't think Byro, Rusek, and Weisbach were as dominant as they've been. I think Kozak and Kisikoff and, and uh, Cedarquist were really good. I thought that uh, Kulik and Rosine were also very, very good. Um, so that was encouraging play from those five uh, rookie forwards tonight. It seems like they're kind of running off. Is Kulik kind of starting to get physical as Cyberquest throws around his body? What do you think they're learning from each other? Maybe the more skilled guys and the more defensive guys? Yeah, I think that um, competition is extremely healthy. And competition in practice, competition in the weight room, competition in the shooting room, uh, that's what drives players to be better. It's, it's, it's got to be healthy. You, you need to want them to have success. You need to support them. You need to be friends with them. Um, but you also are competing every day to try to be better than them. And, and one or two guys competing of, the, of those rookies at, a, at an elite level on a daily basis is, is going to bring the rest of them to have to match that. Alexander, I mean, we've talked about him before this season. Just, it seemed like he had been built for that. He'd been noticeable in a lot of these games and he was doing the scores. Yeah, he's been getting, he's been involved in, you know, A or B level scoring chances every game. Uh, five on five uh, in, in the power play time he's got. So you just felt 
like it was a matter of time with him. Uh, we've really liked what we've been seeing uh, from him. Um, and I think that, you know, all those guys, they're growing, they're getting better, they're working hard. Uh, I thought Cooley could have had five goals tonight. You know, just the puck didn't go in for him. It is what it is. Uh, but but he played he played in a manner that allowed him to get those chances. So, and I think we'll get lost in Kiskoff's goal is is because uh, it was a great first goal uh, for his career. But what a screen by Tyson Kozak. And that, that probably doesn't go in on a really good goaltender like Tarasov unless Kozak's parked at the top of the blue plane, not letting him see that puck. And so um, those are little things that, that really matter. Um, and they all add up to, to players helping your teammates and your linemates be successful. Yeah, I mean, he's uh, Prisky is, you know, he's, he's a really high end American League defenseman with, with, you know, he's on the cusp of, you know, being an NHL or in his career. So uh, to have a guy like him back uh, certainly helped. I don't, we weren't good enough defensively as a group tonight. That's not just the decor though. That's, that's the forwards as well. Cleveland's got a really fast offensive oriented team. Um, and I thought we gave them too many easy chances. Uh, we've been really good defensively the last five games. I didn't think we were very, very good defensively tonight. One of the interesting things today is the first and second period get the first couple of minutes, which isn't normal in Rochester at least. What was it that was able to make that happen? I don't know if there was anything particular. Um, I guess I was probably more concerned that we gave up goal in the last minutes of the, of the second, you know, and then the last minutes of the third. Um, you know, uh, we've played good hockey uh, for the most part here in the last, you know, three weeks. Uh, we've been good at home. And uh, so I'm not surprised if we have a good start. Uh, but I thought, and this is a big part of our defensive lapses, I thought our puck management at times, especially in big moments, um, lapsed. And we turned too many pucks over. And we so then, and they're a great transition team. That's not taking anything away from Cleveland. They, they earned those. Um, and they're a really good transition team. But I thought we fed into that too much. You brought down three goals in a minute and nine seconds. How do you, after that, in the third intermission before the third period, get your team back and like try to go into that? Yeah, you just, you know, you just try to remind them. You know, we showed one clip, a video of, of what we want to do. And I actually, after they tied it four to four from that point until we took the penalty, I thought we were pretty good in the third period. I thought we were creating the better chances, um, scored the go ahead goal, had chances to get other goals, didn't give up much. Uh, I don't think they had very many scoring chances in the third period. Um, you know, but, but, you know, when you, t and that's this, he'll learn from it. And there's plenty of mistakes tonight, but when you're on the bench and you see something like that happen, whether it's an egregious turnover in a bad spot or a penalty that's unnecessary, like as a coach, you're like, they're probably going to tie this up here. You know, it's it's kind of the hockey, hockey gods are going to be against you in those moments. Um, it's like Mason, in like the last few seconds of regulation, had a shot that might have been saved behind the post. Is that something you look at, or was that just crazy from our end? I, uh, I, I can't speak to that. I don't know. Um, I was never given any that, that anything was in, yeah.